Make sure you are investing your money now. If you want to ensure a good retirement down the road, you have to ensure that you're putting enough money into investing for the long haul right now. Hey guys, on this quick video, I want to talk to you about how to retire ready, how to retire in style, how to have a good retirement. I'm going to give you these six things, guys, real quick. So let's jump right into it. Number one is this, guys. If you want to retire good and have a good life when you retire, make sure you're investing right now. Okay, I don't know. I don't care if you're 19 years old watching this or if you're 50 years old watching this. Be investing in things that's going up in value, such as businesses, i.e., the stock market. Be investing in the stock market, ETFs, index funds, individual stocks. Now, if you have individual stocks, make sure you have a bunch of individual stocks, not just three stocks, right? Have 30 and 40 and 60 and 100 different stocks to spread your risk around, right? Be in the stock market for the long term term, right? Don't just jump in the stock market, jump out of the stock. you got to take advantage of something called compound interest. That means you got to be in there for the long haul, guys. This can't be just a short, I want to get in the market for about a year or two and jump out. No, no, no. I don't. You don't want to be touching your money and borrowing from your money and getting loans on, let's say, your money that you're investing, say, with your employer. Leave it all alone. Get into the market, whether it's on your own, individually investing and having a, uh, a brokerage account at Vanguard or Fidelity or what have you, do it at your job, right? Maybe you put in 10, 15, 20% at your job. That's the other thing. Don't just invest money right now, but be investing enough money right now over a long period of time. In other words, don't just go to your employer's retirement plan and invest 3% up to their match only. They match up to 5%. If you can, go to 10%. If you can, go to 15 and 20%. Maybe you do it over time, right? Every time you get a raise, once a year, once every six months, increase the percentage that you're putting towards your job's retirement plan, if it's a 401k or 403b. But be investing. If that's the way you're investing, cool. Nothing wrong with it. Just make sure you know where your job is actually investing your money. Know what funds they're purchasing to put your money into, right? Because knowledge is power. So here's the deal. Make sure you are investing your money now. If you want to ensure a good retirement down the road, you have to ensure that you're putting enough money into investing for the long haul right now. You don't have to just jump in at 15%. Maybe you jump in at 5% getting your company match if it's a 401k or a 403b. Maybe you just jump in 5%. Then... Next year, you go to 7%. The year after that, you go ahead and go to 9 or 10%, right? You get a raise, maybe you go to 12%, right? Just be doing it incrementally if you don't want to jump in at a large percentage right now. But you got to be investing. Number two, know what your retirement needs are. That means do the math, right? Figure out what you're going to need when you retire. If you're 55 and you're retiring at 62, it's easier. If you're 30, it's going to be a little harder for you to predict where you're going to be in 20 years when you want to retire, right? I get it. I totally get it. But you have to start projecting out into the future to figure out where you're going to be. Now, most experts say that you're going to need about 70 to 90% of your pre-retirement expenses to live on in retirement, about 70 to 90%. You can round that up and say about 80%. Think about your expenses. You're doing a monthly budget. Think about your expenses, how much you spend every single month. Take that and multiply it by 0.80, right, to get 80% of it. And that's about what you're going to need when you retire. Now, how do you get there? Of course, it's all in the plan. It's all in what you invest. But you got to be thinking ahead to figure out what you need. And you got to be thinking ahead to figure out what your income sources are going to be, how much you're going to be getting from your job, your pension plan, your IRA or your Roth IRA, maybe even from Social Security. Who knows, right? The point is calculate it. Do the numbers today. Guys, if you get value from this video, please smash the like button below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you're not already a subscriber. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and your family. Number three is understand the rules for withdrawing from your 401k, the rules from withdrawing from your Roth IRA, the rules for withdrawing from your traditional IRA, the rules that are associated with how you're going to get your money, because knowing how you're going to get your money is going to also help you plan for retirement, right? You also want to understand if your job, and you've been on your job for a while, and your job offers a pension, what is that pension? How much is that pension? I know a lot of jobs nowadays don't offer pensions, 
But some of you are working at jobs as a teacher, as a nurse, as a federal government employee or a state employee. These places offer pensions. Do you know what you're gonna receive when you retire? You gotta know that stuff, right? Now, number four is this, guys. What is your long-term strategy? What is your long-term goals, right? Are you dollar cost averaging into the stock market? Are you being steady and consistent? Do you have a set of goals that's written down and action steps or habits that you can do on a monthly or weekly basis to reach those goals, those financial goals, those retirement goals? And part of your strategy could be that you never take a loan on the money that you're putting aside for retirement, that you never, ever, no matter what, withdraw it early so that you face a penalty on the money that you're saving for retirement, right? Understanding a strategy that you have about your long-term goals to reach where you want to be in terms of money in retirement. Now, if you're doing this five years before you retire, great, excellent. But if you're doing this 15 and 20 and 25 years before you retire, it's even better. And why is that? Well, it's because, guys, you're preparing yourself long-term. Money that you put away for retirement, it has a tremendous chance to grow exponentially when you actually are investing and putting aside money for the long haul, right? A long-term strategy. Now, number five is this, traditional IRA or Roth IRA? We know that you have your 401k or your 403b at your job that you should be investing in and you might have a separate brokerage account as well. But do you have a traditional IRA, individual retirement account, or a Roth individual retirement account, right? Traditional is where you put the money in and you may be able to reduce your taxes by the amount that you put in, but when you pull that money out, you're gonna pay taxes on it. You don't pay taxes on traditional IRAs up front. You pay the taxes when you withdraw it at 59 and a half or beyond. Now with a Roth IRA, you're putting that money in after you've already paid taxes. And then when you go to withdraw it at 59 and a half or beyond, you don't have to actually pay any taxes on it because you already paid the taxes before you plugged it into the Roth IRA. You got to know that information, guys. And you got to figure out which one, if any, are right for you. Now, I did a great video, I'm gonna put right here, guys, that separates the difference between a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA. You might wanna check that out when you get done watching this video, guys. Now, finally, number six, the big elephant in the room. We're not quite sure what's gonna happen with it in five, 10, 15, 20 years. We've been saying that for the last 30 or 40 years, but it's social security. What does your social security look like? Will it be there? Will it not be there in 20, 30 years when you were to, I don't know, but, it may, and if it may, then like you wanna do with all of your other possible sources of income as you strategize and prepare for retirement, you wanna take a look at it. You wanna figure out, okay, is it gonna be 1,500 a month? Is it gonna be 2,500 a month? I'm not telling you to rely on that money. I'm telling you to know the possibilities that that money will be a part of what you'll be planning for when you retire, because it may be there. It may not, we just don't know. But just be considering and thinking about Social Security. How is it gonna play into my overall retirement strategy? There's lots of folks that only have Social Security. But if you're doing the things that I'm telling you to do on this video about how to have a good retirement, then you're gonna have a bunch of extra money and the Social Security money, if you get it, it'll just be icing on the cake for you. And it's nothing wrong with an extra $1,000 a month or $2,000 a month as icing on the cake. So guys, that's the six things you should be doing to have a good, solid retirement, right? Just some real simple, basic stuff that all of us can do right now. Again, doesn't matter if you're 20 years old or if you're 60 years old. Those are things that you should be thinking about and incorporating into your strategy for having a good retirement. Guys, listen, if you got anything at all out of this quick video, smash that like button for me. Hey guys, the best person to take care of the old you is the young you. Take care of yourself, guys, and take care of other people. Until the next video, Peace. Guys, I offer one-on-one -on -one financial mentoring and coaching. If you're looking to grow your current income by adding additional streams of income, or you simply want to maximize your current income and get the most you can out of your money right now, or if you simply just want to become a better manager over your money, a better steward over your current personal finances, I may be a good fit for you. You'll find a link to my one-on-one -on -one personal financial mentoring and coaching below, along with a link to my schedule. Please feel free to reach out to me, guys. Until the next video, peace.